So we're jumping into our first game of Hearthstone. It looks like that we've got a Warlock versus a Paladin um, deck. It looks like our Paladin player is actually playing a Secrets type of Paladin. Uh, maybe kind of controlling. And it looks like our Warlock player is actually playing Zoo. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Job's done. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So many possibilities. Just trying to make sure. The thing mm. is, is that normally, um, you can't see your opponent's cards, <laughs> um, but we're actually jumping into um, a spectator mode. Since I'm able to watch, I'm able to see actually, oh, them, right? So, um, so it's okay. We're we're starting to get the wheels going. It's going to be just fine. It's the most normal thing in the world. All right. So we're on to turn two. Robot Man actually gets a um, a shielded mini bot, which is actually a really good turn two uh, kind of play. But let's see what he actually ends up doing. Um, he's going to be utilizing a lot of secrets. It looks like that he's going to get the coin out to put out a knife juggler and be able to put out a secret in order to protect him a little bit. Or actually, no, he didn't have the mana for that. Whoops. That's okay. Job's done. So we're seeing a turn two Nerubian egg. Kind of a slow start here from our zoo player. Actually, this is kind of an interesting... It's not really a zoo type of thing, especially with the least star caller. Looks like Robot Man deciding to actually try to be like, should I turn this guy off? And it looks like he is going to. Uh, the Iron Beat Owl silencing that prevents the death route from actually happening, which summons a 4 4 Nerubian. So that's a really powerful thing. Okay. So we got Fist of Jaraxxus being drawn. Fist of Jaraxxus, when you play or discard, let's deal 4 damage to a random enemy. It's an interesting card. It's not a very common um, card in the Hearth State land space. So Wizkid showing a kind of a different deck, which is pretty sick. I'm actually very, very excited with how that's happening. All right, so going on to Robot Man side of the side of the thing, it looks like he's definitely got a very, very strong kind of point here. Um, probably one of the best options here is probably to put out the Shield of Minibot and a Secret. That way he just Let has board control. It's probably one of the best options here. But that's what I would probably, that's what I would probably do in that essence. So it looks like he's playing Competitive Spirit, which is a Secret. And he's going to use this other owl to silence the other thing. Interesting decision there. And it completely removes it, right? So Wizkid's actually kind of in a... Um, he's doing okay. Uh, top Dex Implosion, which deals damage to a minion and summons some minions here. So, um, competitive Spirit being activated as well. We've got a fast uh, game between these two players, which is a good thing. Hmm. So, shield a minibot, and we have two more mana left, so it looks like that Sacred Trial is actually be done. When your opponent has at least three minion and plays another, destroy it. So, if uh, Wizkid doesn't trade um, before he plays his minion, it's actually going to be destroyed. It looks like he's actually going to play his Knife Juggler. However, Sacred Trial actually procs and eliminates that minion. How heartbreaking. That's the kind of thing about secrets. Whenever you're playing against secrets, you kind of have to know um, what type of minions might be available or what type of secrets might be available. That way you know how to counter it. So playing the Dark Peddler, able to get a uh, able to get a one mania minion out, so he still has some board control. He's got 19 HP, and he hasn't touched the Paladin quite yet. So um, definitely, Paladin's definitely going up here. It looks like he's going to play Equality early, deciding that... Uh, Trading that is probably the best thing to go. Decides to play Cock Hammer, which is pretty nice. Um, and attack space. Okay. Alright, so... Get in there and fight, good use of Abusive Sergeant. D utilizes it on the uh, the card that wasn't going to have any kind of use of it there. And does Elise Star Seeker. Um, Elise Star Seeker is awesome. Like I hope that we're able to see some uh, play with that this game. Decides to actually play the Flame in, which does three damage to him. Um, Star Seeker actually does some really, really cool things. Um, you get a map of the golden monkey shuff shuffled into your deck. You play the monkey and then the, uh, um, the map or the map and then the golden monkey. Every single minion in your deck turns into legendary minion, which is pretty sick. All right. 
So it looks like he's going to use Abusive Sergeant to trade with Lothab. It's actually a pretty good play. Now the thing here is, does he decide to tap? And it looks like that he does. He's starting to get really, really weak on health, so he's got to be very, very careful here. Now we know what the turn 7 play is going to be from Robot Man. It's going to be Dr. Boom. Dr. Boom is a very, very powerful legendary. So he's arguably one of the best cards in the game right now. Pretty simple play. Now, like, if you're if you're Whiz Kid, like, tapping here is dangerous. Um, it looks like it looks like he's going to trade and use Fist of Jaraxxus to deal four damage. He's just trying to decide if he wants to overkill. Alright, so we see a tap and a knife juggler coming out. Very, very, very scary stuff. Alright. So it looks like he's going to use his weapon to take out the Voidwalker. And now, a blessing of kings. That's the end of the game. Slam dunk. Well played. So, Robot Man is up 1-0 in this series. And we're going to go into our second game in just a moment. Um... Very, very difficult for uh, um, for WizKid to be able to actually kind of get going. Um, those double silences, while kind of questionable, definitely was able to secure him the game. So definitely some interesting stuff. Yep. Thank you for checking with me. That is awesome. Yeah, we're about to jump into our second game. Um, because WizKid lost, WizKid's going to have to, or we're expecting WizKid to change decks. So he's going to have to go from, uh, um, oh, oh, he's going to have to go from other Rust. Looks like we're just about to, um, okay, we're about to jump back into the game. I will fight with honor. The light shall bring victory. And it looks like that we have a paladin and a priest. Okay, so we've got a paladin and a priest deck. Um, it's kind of hard to tell what type of uh, uh, priest that it's playing. Um, the type of cards that I see here can be a lot of different decks. I hope it's another. Um, I hope it's another monkey deck. <laughs> So it looks like we got a very, very strong turn one. Uh, Northshire Cleric is pretty good. Um, has a lot of synergy um, with some of the other things. And a lot of the Paladin starting hands aren't very strong. So um, WizKid can actually utilize his hero power of heal two, uh, heal two health to be able to actually start drawing cards. So this game, this game's off to a good fit uh, for both players. Now, if I was Robot Man, I would probably say the, probably the best thing right here would be to put out um, his shield of minibot. However, he didn't Welcome do anything. So I think I think he did that to prevent the player from, or to prevent Wizkid from being able to draw. So we have a discover card. Um, decides that Sneed's old shredder is the way to go. And misses, no, we had an attack. Okay, so we're good. We are good. All right, so turn three. It looks like that, you know, he's going to need to, or Robot Man's going to need to do something here pretty quick. Otherwise, um, otherwise he's going to start losing board control. But the thing is, is that, like we talked about, it's very, very, um, you know, Paladin's kind of early stuff isn't very strong. So I see WizKid being able to draw lots of cards here. He decides to use his hero power to summon a, uh, summon a Deuterino. We see attack happening in Noble Sacrifice. The better choice right there, if he attacked with the... Uh, the museum curator, he would have actually um, died right there. And oh, he's going crazy, guys. Wizkid, he went double Northshire Cleric. What's gonna happen? He's gonna draw a bunch of cards. The ability of the Northshire Cleric is that whenever a minion is healed, draw a card. Since you're a priest and your hero power allows you to heal things, um, that gives a metric ton of synergy right there. So, um, that's definitely going to be WizKid's uh, awesome kind of edge that he's going to have this particular game because he's just going to have all the card draw that he wants to play. 
Shire is pretty good. Reporting for duty. All right, and again, so he can, he can. There's a lot of options here. Um, it looks like he's going to coin and put out Sludge Belcher. I think that's a fine play. Looks like he's going to trade what he can and just go face. Good play, Wiz Kid. All right, so Robot Man here. What does he have? He's he's got a weapon. He's got and their secret. Um, he's got a couple of other Deuterinos in here as well. Let's move this down just a little bit. Looks like he's got some two Consecrates and he's got Mysterious Challenger. We'll probably see that on turn six because that's pretty balanced. Am I right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so it looks like Consecration going to be used. Looks like he's going to take out two dudes. And if you're going to use your mana, you may as well uh, play out a secret. But he's just trying to decide if he wants to put out Repentance or um, Competitive Spirit. Um, a turn 5 play. Repentance is pretty good. You can start really like worrying about some of the big dudes on turn 5. And we'll kind of go from there. So Death Lord would actually be a terrible uh, play to because then he'd go into Repentance. He'd go from 8 HP to 1. Um, so it looks like he's going to trade here straight up to bait out that secret. That's not what it is. Zombie Chow actually is a really good play here. But it looks like he's going to put Death Lord. And with that secret proccing, he's going to take his HP from 8 down to 1. That was a mistake. Woo. And Robot Man with the BM. Wow. Telling WizKid that was a mistake. No way to look cool after that. And it looks like he's going to Consecrate again. Take out the minions. Now the Death Lord, what it does is it summons an, a minion from your deck based on when you die. So a 2-1 on the board is actually, um, he loses the battle cry. So in all honesty, I actually think WizKid's a little bit ahead here. Having one less thing be summoned or be, uh, be silenced is always a good thing. We see a heal. We see Zombie Chow being played. Zombie Chow is an awesome, you know, early game gameplay, especially if you're, um, especially if you haven't um, done a lot of damage to your opponent and you're still fighting for board control. A two three for one man is pretty good. All right, so we've got a mysterious challenger. Put one of each secret from your deck in the battlefield. It is Christmas time for Robot Man right now, and it looks like he's going to play the other secret. So literally, whenever an attack happens, we're going to see a bunch of stuff happen in just a second. So. I'm going to do my best to try to actually cast it. So we see Noble Sacrifice happen. Looks like he's going to take a hit. Because that happens, another secret's going to prop. Because he died. Redemption. When one of your minions dies, return it. So we have a 2-1 on the field. And that's all the secrets. Okay, so deciding to use Shadow or Death to completely take out that dude. Okay. So what are some of the other secrets we have here? We've got Competitive Spirit and we've got Secret Trial. Okay. So it looks like uh, WizKid's going to dodge another bullet here. Let's see here. So we see Flash Heal. We're going to Flash Heal something. Doing a Flash Heal on the Zombie Chow. Interesting kind of play right there. And just wants to see. Uh, and the turn. Competitive Spirit happens. Everything gets a plus 1-1 one, one on Robot Man's side of the board. Got a lot of weapons. Got some very, very strong plays here. I don't think he has quite enough to be able to clear the 412, though. That's the only thing. So it looks like that he's going to do Coghammer. Uh, True Silver Champion. There we go. True Silver Champion's a very, very good. Uh, one of the best Paladin weapons. You attack for four, you heal for two. Um, but still, actually he does. He If he attacks here and trades, he'll, he'll clear the board, but... It's a very, very strong position for WizKid. He's able to take care of essentially three cards. Losing the other owl. That was a mistake. That is devastating. So a lot of options for WizKid right here. I mean, uh, if he wants to... I mean, he knows that Dr. Boom's coming, so I probably wouldn't waste an Entomb on the pilot at Shredder. Um, I would probably just trade utilizing the Holy Nova. Hmm. Looks like he's just going to trade what he can. He's going to put out uh, Sneed's old Shredder. And he's still dodging this last secret. He knows Sacred Trial is there. That's probably it. He probably remembers that from his previous game. So we got Sacred Trial there. He's probably not going to try to overflow the board. We got Shielded Minibot going in. This is a good game, guys. All right. Three and four. So com competing with the board. Looks like Robot Man's going to go and attack. 
I'm gonna go ahead and at least clear the uh, clear the zombie chow, but I don't think he actually went and cleared the zombie chow. I think he's yep, he went face there. Not a terrible idea. He replaced his weapon. I probably would have cleared out the the Northshire cleric, but that's just me. All right, what do we got here? So. Cabal Shadow Priest on the Shielded Minibot. It's very, very good selection right there. The Sacred Trial Prox, and it... Oh, wow. It's an interesting thing. I didn't think it would zap... The, I thought it would zap the uh, the Shielded Minibot, but it didn't. It actually zapped the, the uh, Cabal Shadow Priest. Interesting. Okay. But we were able to at least dodge that, which is a good thing. Looks like he's going to heal. He's digging. If we look at how many cards they've actually done, it looks like that... I mean, he's drawn quite a bit, but it looks like he's not too far ahead of robot. Alright, we got Blessing of Kings. Oh, this could be... This could be... I don't know, right? You use Blessing of Kings to trade with the Pilot Shredder, or are you going to go face? I'd probably go face, honestly. Yep, he went face. Made the Pilot Shredder have to trade. This is going to be a weird game, guys. All right, so we see a pile, or so we see a uh, wild pyromancer. Captain Greenskin, not very good in terms of board control, but it looks like a holy nova would clear the board. That would actually put Wizkid in a very, very powerful uh, position. He's reaching for it. All right, gonna trade with one of the dudes. Gonna play the holy nova. Nice. Draws a card. Robot Man's kind of in trouble here. Doing a uh, Thought Steal. Oh my goodness. Getting Mustard for Battle. That's a Paladin card. Thought Steal allows you to uh, copy two cards from your opponent's deck and use them in your own hand. It's pretty good. I probably would have waited a turn, honestly, to, uh, to play that, but looks like Robot Man's ignoring it. Looks like, dude, he's got to go face. I, I think he feels like he's on a clock. Playing the Mustard for Battle, which is created by Thought Steel. And because he actually got the Knife Juggler as well, he's able to throw three daggers on top of that. Oh my goodness. Wizkid with the heals. It looks like Robot Man doesn't have really a whole lot. I mean, I think he's used both Consecrates. He's also restoring five health just to really slam it on, slam it home. Thank you. What did we get? We got another pilot shredder. I where are we at? So we're at Where are we at? So six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think he's got lethal. Yeah, he's definitely got lethal now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, he does have lethal. So Robot Man, like, it came down to Wizkid just, like, having very, very awesome, uh, awesome Death Lord plays. Like, both Death Lords took out, um, uh, Owls, which prevented stuff from being silenced. Um, just had an amazing card draw, was able to trade very effectively. So, props to him. So, both players are one win apiece. We're about to go into our third game. And we're jumping right into it. They know exactly what to do. We're figuring it out, guys. So priest versus shaman. Ooh, okay. So it looks like we're gonna see a kind of a zooey kind of burst shaman deck. Ooh, this feels so good. So Wizkid's gameplay is gonna be heavily reliant on him having a good start, and that's a fantastic start. Being able to get the Death Lord right off the bat, uh, be able to slow down things because Robot Man is gonna bring the ruckus and he's gonna bring it quick. So we see a turn one zombie chow. Ooh. Like, do you coin out both uh both dudes? Two leopards. But it looks like that he's gonna build Tunnel Trog. Which is actually a newer card came out in the newest expansion. Whenever you overload, gain plus one attack per mana or per lock mana crystal. And it coins out a leper gnome. So really there's he's gonna go ahead and attack, and he's going to heal up his zombie chow. It's a good choice right there. So we've got two mana. There's a couple options here. It looks like he's going to pick the Totemic Call, which is summoning a totem, which is pretty good. And just go face. 
So, we have a fucking nice soul priest in the deck. This is awesome. All right, so he's going to trade. And he's going to heal up. And so Wizkid, like, he's, he's ascertaining board control. He's doing all right. He's not getting too crazy or too out of control. And it's not committing overly to the deck. So it looks like that we've got uh, Feral Spirit, which is a very, very strong tempo card. It's going to be very difficult for Wizkid to be able to get through this. He needs one more turn. but um, So he's going to attack into it. He doesn't have the mana for Holy Noble. But he's reaching for it, man. He's reaching for it. He knows it's almost there. So probably one of the most optimal outcomes would be to play Death Lord, and that's exactly what he does. And I like the the decision for flash heal in the deck. Um, it allows him to be able to um, just to be able to heal back up to kind of counter some of the the Zui type of attacks that are happening. So he decides to lava shock, which gives him two more mana. Get another totem. So the overload mechanic, what it does is it it you do so much power, it damages your mana crystals for the next turn. Right, essentially is what happens. So let's see what we get here. It looks like we got a Totem Golem. Ooh, that's a very, very good card for to be drawn by a Death Lord. Normally you have Overload of 1 um, based on this dude, and but he was able to get him out without any Overload, which is pretty sick. All right. So this is kind of a tough turn, right? So it looks like he's going to Arcanize Soul Priest. Now, the Arcanize Soul Priest, it takes all of your uh, cards and abilities that heal, and they do damage instead. So, he utilized the, um, the Flash Heal to really just not Flash Deal <laughs> and uh, do five damage to that. So, he's able to remove that without too much here. Now, the only kind of downside is that he's going to start taking a lot of damage, and because the Arcanize Soul Priest is on the board, he doesn't have any recourse to be able to actually... Um, to be able to actually heal through it. The trade there. Okay. That's an interesting thing. That allows a whiz kid to be able to start healing again. Um, let's see here. There's really, like, you probably... It's either put out a six mana spell. Like, I mean, you could trade and... I would probably trade and Holy Nova to get the board. It looks like he's going to Entomb the minion. So Entomb removes it from the board and shovels it into his deck. Um, Entomb's expensive, but the thing is is that um, like, if you're playing against an aggro deck like this, Robot Man's probably not going to have any major like finishers or anything big, so uh, shoveling that into your deck just going to move it is pretty awesome. Night Juggler getting synergy with the totems. It's pretty good. Deciding to Cobalt Shadow Priest the Let Totem. That allows him to get a little bit of control and power word shielding the Cobalt Shadow Priest to have him be a little bit beefy. That's pretty sick. It's pretty good. Alright, so he decides to play a Totem Golem. Got a lot of Totems on the board. I don't know if I'd I don't know if I'd play Abusive Sergeant right here. I'd probably keep it back if I was Robot Man. It looks like that's what he's gonna do. Playing Abusive Sergeant doesn't do anything that turn. Like he could just kill it straight up easily. So that's what it is. Alright, so We've actually got a pretty good play right here. So playing Northshire Cleric. Deciding to Holy Nova, that's actually a really good play right here. So he's gonna get a card draw based on the heal. He's down to 13 HP. And decide to play the Museum Curator to actually get some stuff on the board. Decides immediately I'm going to get the Anubisath Sentinel. Uh, just need some big or beefier dudes than what I've currently got. This kid with his priest, man. It's pretty good. Robot Man's starting to run out of steam. I think card draw is definitely one of the opportunities in both these decks. Just plays a totem. It's like, hey, I don't got, I don't got anything else. So, going to trade with the two dudes. Gonna draw a card. And decide to put out the Sludge Vulture. So, gonna attack for four. It's gonna bring Robot Man down to 24. Uh, a Lightning. Um, the Lightning Storm would actually be a decent one here, especially if you can get the uh, Spell Power Totem. So, it's like, what do you do here? Like, you can put out the Arcane Golem and be able to actually take care of one minion. 
So he puts out the taunt, slows him down a little bit. He's just really, he's just trying to decide, just like, do I want to actually play this card? And you know what? He's just, he's almost there. He's like, just got to release it from his phone or release the mouse click, but he decides to put it back. So you know what? Just trying to buy his time, trying to build some cards that he can have, but he's going to lose that game of attrition based on WizKid because he just draw every day. Trying to decide what to do here. Like, personally for me, like, I'm the kind of person that, like, if my board is awesome enough, I'm going to keep doing it. Like, I'm just going to leave it alone. Like, I don't want to slam more stuff down on the board. Like, I would use two mana a turn just to heal. At the very least. But it looks like he's going to put out a wild pyromancer. See, here's the thing, right? So, like, he did an unintentional amount of damage. He's going to draw five cards! He's going to draw five cards. Every minion got damaged. Utilizing Circle of Healing heals all the minions. Quickly. <laughs> it's one of our first times that the actual turn like went the entire length. Normally you have about 90 seconds per turn in Hearthstone to be able to actually do what you need to do. I mean, that's sick. He just drew five extra cards when he didn't need to. Well played. I think Robot Man knows he's in trouble, deciding to play out the Arcane Golem and try to slow things down. Get in there and fight, maggot! I was trying to decide, like, play Totem Call. Do you actually use the Rock Fighter Totem to do the extra attack? I don't think so. Now, here's the thing if everything's damaged, you gotta be super careful about healing again. <laughs> otherwise, you're gonna, like, otherwise, you're gonna mill yourself. There's no way to look cool after that. <laughs> Some good stuff here. And it looks like Robot Man's chances of winning this game are just slipping away. Just, I mean, WizKid has the, uh, an acceptable amount of health. He's got board control. He's got, um, he's got card draw. Like, he's got everything he needs in order to be successful. And he's going to circle. He, like, he's going to draw four more cards. He's just slamming him. I think he actually he drew too he drew too many cards. My hand is full. So if you can only have ten cards in your hand, so he's trying to like get rid of cards now. That's so funny. And he just passes. So he still has ten cards. So he's gonna burn another card next hand. Um. Well played. See, that's one of the cards that uh that Robot Man was looking for a little bit earlier. Crackle, it does three to six damage. It's kind of one of those things where you just throw it at your opponent's face and just hope it does damage. See, see, Crackle's gonna do between three and six damage. It does six, that's that's awesome, right? You win this and in a comeback victory, well WizKid83 actually wins two to one. Props to him, okay. Some good stuff there. So I think Robot Man, I think some of the opportunities there is just he doesn't have some card draw. Like he like he, he runs out of gas, especially in the two uh, cards that we saw. But I think that might have been evident based on the Death Lord type of stuff. So just having some sort of ability to draw cards would be awesome because I didn't see that in either deck. Um, this kid, nice priest man. Hopefully we'll see some more. So GG's to him.